it. We're testing the chat again today. A couple days ago, we made the reference of playing Freddy Fish, uh, the entire Freddy Fish cinematic universe. And I was told, oh man, you have to do it. It's going to be so awesome, dude. Please play it. Please. Oh my God. Freddy Fish is my childhood. Get in there, dude. Get in there and play Freddy Fish. So we're going to find out. A lot of people wanted me to do this. And after about 20 minutes, if all of you are fighting each other, then I'm going to know if this was, you know, worth doing. I did not know this, but there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Freddy Fish games. I thought there were two. I'm not going to play all seven of them. Maybe I'll play one or two or maybe. I don't know if I get sick of this shit. I'm going to move on to unpacking, which is a chill game where you can decorate a room. You unpack stuff into a room or something. Play the second one, please. No, we're, we're starting. I'm sorry. We're starting with uh, the first Thor movie. Okay. You don't. I. I can't. Just, I. You don't just skip to Ragnarok. I, we gotta watch the first two Thor movies, guys. Okay. So here we go. We're gonna play Freddy Fish. This is Freddy Fish and the Case of the Missing Kelp Seeds. Fuck this game. Why? We haven't even started playing it. Can you hear it? Oh, there he is! Alright, Freddy Fish. Whoa. The curse of the missing kelp seeds. You look like a villain. That's fine. Did you part your hair? No, I didn't. Wait, did I? No, I'm just like balding. And it's going back. Yeah. Nice receding hairline, Mega Low. Yeah, I'll talk to me when you're 40. You know, stuff like that used to really kind of freak me out and scare me. I don't fucking care. I don't care anymore. Hi. Ten years ago, I was like, Ooh! Thank you, Freddy. Wait a minute, I gotta make sure it looks oh, okay! Oh, my. Oh, Someone I, took I don't my care. Treasure I could go ball tomorrow and I would not even, I wouldn't even care. Pay attention. It's dying. <laughs> Classic cartoon comedy. Until we find my treasure chest, we have no food. I'll find your treasure chest, Grandma Grouper. So we're gonna oh, find the treasure thank chest. Thank you, Freddy. Here's my <clears throat> what else are we gonna do? peanut butter and jelly fish sandwich for your journey. Ugh. Good luck, Freddy. Don't worry. I don't need Grandma to pay attention Grouper. to this game. I'll find your I don't need to pay attention to this game. This is every Nick Jr. cartoon in one go. I don't I don't need to pay attention to that. I don't anybody need to pay attention. Pay attention to what? Freddy Fish? Fuck this guy! Wait, do you think he's fucking funny? Ooh, everything's clickable. Hello, Freddy. I'm so worried about the kelp seeds. R1, 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 R1. So I gotta go find... I don't know, I don't remember. I'll run into somebody that can help me. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> I Look, cried as a kid a playing bottle. this because I got stuck. And there's a note inside. It says... To find Grandma Grouper's treasure chest, go near the beach. I'm going to be rich when I find that treasure. We need to find Grandma Grouper's treasure chest because that's idiot. where the kelp seeds are. Please are you happy? Find him. Are you happy? I'm just curious. I'm asking. Are you happy? Okay. We're just I'm yes, just checking Mrs. in. Halibut. We'll help Gabby. Freddy, Luther, I'm stuck under this rock. Please help me. Ah. I'm stuck. So what are we going to do? We gotta get a crowbar. Don't worry, Gabby. We just need to find a bigger crowbar to pry the rock off your fish. Push, fist. twist it. What's that? What a beautiful shell. Can I prop this underneath here and, and crank it? It's a colorful shell. What a beautiful shell. It says to find we already have one. Groupers. Please help me. I'm I don't get still it. stuck. I don't, don't, I don't get worry, it. How Gabby. do I do this? We just need to find a bigger board I don't fucking get it. I don't, I don't want to play. This fist. game's fucking stupid. Fuck this game. I don't get it. I don't understand. Like, they didn't make it clear enough for me. Like, why don't games make shit clearer? You know what I mean? Anymore? Who's that? <laughs> I'm fucking five years old. I swear to God. I thought that was funny. I, I thought that was genuinely humorous. This is a library-ass game. <laughs> I have a distinct memory of trying to play these games, but I just didn't, I didn't understand how to install video games. Back in, I want to say like DOS. Because here's the thing that you guys don't understand. DOS was a huge pain in the ass. I don't know if this was on DOS. This is 94. I want to say like 1991, 1992, maybe? 
DOS, it's, it wasn't just, oh, I'm going to double click this game on my desktop and it's going to open. You used to have to put the CD, like the, the floppy in, get it to run, go into prompts, command prompt, and get the shit to run. It was actually kind of a pain in the ass. For a little kid, I, I, I didn't get it. Just type CD. No, sometimes it didn't work. Sometimes you had to install it and then run the EXE from the mounted drive and shit. It was weird. You lost to a floppy drive. That was after DOS. I, it was something... Okay, so Windows 3.1 ran on DOS, but sometimes you had to go into DOS to do certain things. It was weird. Oh, there's a log. On July 14th, there's going to be a baseball stream on this channel. Uh, it's going to be the Cincinnati Clowns versus the Maryland Magicians. I would suggest you uh, you stick around for that one. July 14th. Fiddler Crab, what's wrong? Oh, I got a key. Oh me, oh my, oh me, oh my. How did I get in this cage? I must get out of this cage. Please help me get out. And I'll give you my fishing pole. <laughs> that was a banger. This key should get you out of the cage, Fiddler Crab. I have a question. Thanks for unlocking the cage. Crabs always kind of scare me in lobsters too, because they they have those the claws. The how much damage would those actually do to a human hand? If, if for instance, a fiddler crab, right? If a fiddler, if I if a fiddler crab went bang Grandma on my Clippers fingers, would lizard? they just chop them off? I always have this distinct kind of vision in my brain that if a lobster gets my finger, it's gonna just it's gonna saw it off. They could absolutely sever your finger. It depends. Damn. It'd be a bad cut. But you'd probably keep your fingy. <laughs> you have three buckets of jellyfish. I'll toss the jellyfish to the hungry animals and I'll you toss the jellyfish to the hungry Ready animals. To go? It's feeding time. I could probably do something like Wait, I'd do it. You fed that one, Freddy! Alright, all right, Freddy! Now it's time to do it on hard! And all of a sudden, fucking Guitar Hero buttons start coming down, and the, through the fire and flame starts playing. And they just start running out. Whoa! I started, did that was great, crazy! Freddy. 23? There are more hungry animals back there, Freddy! Isn't that a I scary number? I like that number. Food. 23? What do you mean, question marks? Good job, Freddy! The number 23, you right? Them all. Hold on. The scary thriller Jim Carrey movie, the number 23, is not based on any actual real, like, folklore. They just made that up for the movie. No, not they made the number 23 up. I'm saying they did they make up the folklore around how scary the number 23 is. Or is that actually number 23 is seen in a lot of uh, different places? Uh, I, well, this My game's lagging. So they made that whole thing up for the movie. It was just for the movie. What?! I am not fucking around. I'm telling you the absolute uh, honest to God truth. I've been afraid uh, of that number since I've heard uh, of that movie and stuff. I thought it was like 13, like unlucky number. It's, it was just made up for uh, the movie, but I thought it was all these like weird biblical references. I thought it was like the Da Vinci Code, right? Where it's like, oh, Leonardo Da Vinci had a secret map to like, a treasure in the United States. Wait, no, that's, that's, a Nick, that's a Nick Cage movie called National Treasure. Well, you know what I mean? I thought it was something like that. The number 23 has been directly mentioned several times in the Bible. 14 times, to be precise. This goes to show its significance in the Bible. Number 23 has been mentioned. mentioned. Uh, the judge of Israel, 23 years of service. It's also worth noting that Jehovah uh, was 23 years old when he inherited the throne and became Judah's new king. Interesting. Uh, Jezebel is very renowned for quickly. Yeah. So, sorry. So I was right. I, I was right. I was right. So they didn't make this whole thing up for the Jim Carrey movie. Two divided by three is 666. That's what I'm saying. So what do you mean, question marks? Yeah, it's an actually biblically accurate scary number. You know what else is really funny about this whole scenario? I've never even seen the number 23 with Jim Carrey. I've never seen the movie. I just knew it was a scary number movie. Oh, and I looked it up on like Wikipedia and it was like, oh, the number 23 is scary. Jim Carrey writes it down a million times. I know, you know, I think I, I, think I saw the trailer. I think I saw the trailer and I was scared of the number. All right, Freddy. I swear to God. I Head really think all. that's what happened. Get ready for some more animals, Freddy. Okay, let's let's see let's see what why why I was scared of this so much. All I could think about was the number. I met you when I was twenty-three. 
and the day we met was? September 14th. 9-14. 14 plus 9 is? 23. Is it all just a coincidence? I don't know. <laughs> so what is 23? There are 23 axioms to Euclid's geometry. The human body consists of 46 chromosomes, 23 from each parent. See? Two divided by three, point six six six. Number the devil. So is 23 a blessing or a 243, curse? 243, 240 pixels? I was born at 11, 12 p.m. 11 plus 12. 23. My birthday, 2, 3. Driver's license, social security. Imagine this is 230 pixels. It actually kind of is. See, everything's 23. That's why, it, this, that trailer scared me. I didn't see the movie, but I was scared of the number, so I stopped... I started thinking about that, like, wait a minute. How many, uh, how many waters come in a case of water? 23. So I stopped buying them. They had to be, they had to be 24, 25 in a, in a case of water. It started freaking me out. You're actually 5 IQ. What do you know about my IQ? 23 IQ. I don't know, man. How old was I? When did that movie come out? Like 20 fucking years ago? How old was I? In, I was probably like, I don't know. I don't know how old I was. I probably was very influenced. It was 23 years ago. It actually might have been, and that's fucked up if it was. If it was fuck, if it was fucking 23 years ago, quiet now, because that's weird. You were 23. What? I was? I, I was. It's gonna be 2023 next year. Nine plus eight plus five is 23. Not. I'm Mr. Starfish, I'm your Starfish. math teacher for today. Welcome to class. This better not be 23. How hard do you want the questions to be? I want it to be very easy, hard medium, special, hard, very hard, or advanced. Advanced. Ad advanced it is. What is? I thought it was 23. <laughs> minus it's like, no, it 20. Isn't. Shit, that's 23 backwards. That's 23 backwards, and that's how old I was when the movie came out. Now let's try another. Minutes, people trying to get you to play Freddy Fish 2. What is 46 divided by 2 is 23. 50. What is the difference of 23 and 21? 2. You're right. Yay! 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 Now let's try another. You're the devil in what the sky. What is the sum of 40, 1, and 23? What the fuck, man? 90, 7, and 65. What's that backwards? 30, 2. That's correct. We've answered 11. Problem's right. Here's another equation. <laughs> that was sick. That was really cool. You know what, what, you know, think about this. What a fun job. Think about how fun this is. So, you, so some of the artists and the game director and stuff, they sit around and they, they come up with this piece where, look, we got a volcano and some kelp and some rocks. And then they go, you know what? What happens if you click on them? And they come up with these really funny little cool things that happen when you click on everything. Just with this empty canvas, they go, all right. When you click the kelp, they're going to spin around. It's going to make a cartoon sound. And it's going to sneeze out a fish. And then it does just that. That's really cool. You're an actual child. I'm just talking about how the game is interesting. It's a fun thing to uh, for young kids to be, be engaged with. I, I'm reviewing the game. You're 46. How old do you think the game director of this game was when they made this game? Guys, other 10-year-olds don't make games for 10-year-olds. It's not the, a 9-year-old didn't make this. What do you what do you think's making the games? It's not like a room full of toddlers in oversized suits pretending to be adults. A 23-year-old made it. Still. All right, let's go. Let's, uh, let's, let's, see, let's see the show.
Welcome, girls, boys, and fish of all ages to the greatest show under the sea. We've got some great acts here today, sure to make your gills quiver with delight. So, put your fins together for our first fantastic performance. Get ready to clap. Don't be a fucking rude asshole. That'd be funny. <laughs> That's it? Hey, how much was your ticket? Yeah, $39. Me too. That's not it, right? There's more. It has to be. <laughs> Alright, that was this guy getting... <laughs> Jeez! That guy just got- that guy died! Jeez. Sheesh. Sheesh. <laughs> Sheesh! Nobody else did it! Why did nobody else do it? You all fucking set me up! Perfect. Love it. What? Are you serious? I don't get it. I don't get it. Everyone in the audience, y'all fucking threw your tomato at the turtle that didn't deserve it. Still got mine. Hi. Does anybody else think it's fucking weird that we just, all of us just all go, yeah, yeah, it's normal for that to be down there. Why, why we think that's, there are fish, there's stuff down in the deep sea that make their own light with their heads. And they're weird monsters and shit. We just like, are like, yeah, that's fine. There's like giant, weird, scary monsters down there. Yeah, okay. That's, that's whatever. A huge amount of the sea is not even explored. Yeah. <laughs> my, you know what my favorite comment is? This one. If you care so much, why don't you explore it yourself? <laughs> Do you guys think that there's another Earth? Where the only difference is they just have one nostril. And that's the only difference. Nothing. Everything else is identical. Oh, it's the multiverse. I don't, I don't believe in the multiverse. I don't believe in multiverse. It pisses me off that, like, one of the germas hit the fucking lottery and I didn't. That makes me angry. You know, like, one of the germas has huge muscles and is, like, six feet tall. I'm not, I, that pisses me off. I don't even want to believe in it. I don't want to even know it's real. That annoys me. If I get, like, if I get, there's, like, a crossover with, like, oh, the germa multiverse! And there was, like, a tall, like, 6'2 germa. Jeremy, whatever. And he's in a suit. I'd fucking shove him. I'd be like, get out, shut up. I'd be like, bring me another one. Bring me another one, because I want to be the one in, in the in the multiverse scenario where I'm the cool one, where I'm the one that's the good one, right? Yeah, bring me bring me like weird cannibal Germa, and a uh, Germa that f flunked every grade, so I could just be I can, I'm the one that's the one they can tell I I I could be the one that dictates what we do. Watch well, that! I know I wouldn't want the cannibal. I wouldn't want cannibal Germa. I would want I would I don't think I'd want cannibal Germa around. Just bring bring me like caveman Germa. All right, bring me the the dumb ones, so I can be the smart one, and I can be the one that the movie is based around him. Because I don't want to be one of the other ones where the movie's not based on them. You know, how pissed off that would make me if Chad six two Germa with the suit it comes into the is it's their movie and I'm the side other character. No, fuck you. Uh uh, that ain't happening. You would be the villain. No, I don't. No, I want the movie to be. I want the, it Germa. Goes around the multiverse. I don't want that. I don't want to be the side character. I don't want to have a portal open up behind me, and I'm sitting at this desk, and I'm the joke. The the Chad Germa is his movie. He's done like fucking ten scenes already, and he's like, oh, so gaming, huh? And he like, then I, it's like I'm the loser guy. And like I look up my shoulder, and he he's in my universe, and I'm a side character. Nope. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna be ready for. 
I'm just sitting there like, I see the portal open and I'm just sitting there like, ready to fucking punch. He puts his head through and the fist just hits him right in the square in the fucking face. He's just like, and he falls back in the hole. And just sucks around. And yeah, I gotta be careful because then I would be in the credits as Psycho Germa. No, 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 real Germa. I'm real Germa. Don't put me as like weirdo or psycho Germa. No, real Germa. That's what I am. And why do we think that the parallel multiverse the universes says, are different versions of us? The three cave no. And enter the one on the right. The There's not an infinite amount of really versions of us. Now, Luther. If anything, we're going to jump around the multiverse and I'm going to be sitting in the same goddamn spot with a different shirt on. I'll have a green shirt on. I'll be the same exact person. Where's green shirt, Jeremy? He's better. Hold on, let me open up the portal. I, 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 it's always like... It's always like this, right? Like... They always like put their fingers together, like... And they like do threading around a thread. I've talked about this before on stream, but I'm sorry. I don't understand casting. I don't. I, we, I know it's been like... Oh, yeah, yeah, old material. I don't care. There's new people here. Why, why do people do fucking casting to, to, to cast spells? Just go. Go! Done. What, you don't have to go like this. Just go. Fireball, go! Super duper duper booka poly gizmo! <laughs> so what he just said, Derma, magic's not real. Derma, that's just a gun. This is cute. It's cute. I, if, okay, I'm sorry. If you don't, like, find what just happened to be, like, an enjoyable thing, what's, what are you talking about? Like, this... Like, this, look, look at how just how cute this is. Right there. Hi. Like, like, hi. Like, come on. Come on. They open it, all of a sudden it just goes. Oh. Baby, Freddy, run! Uh -oh. I'm sorry, I was probably really loud. Told you we find the treasure, boys. That was really loud. Okay, I'm really sorry. Okay, you two, hand over the treasure. No, Grandma Grouper's couch. I'm sorry, I forget for that this is the fucking thing to sucks. Share. But we gotta take the treasure to the Squid Father, so we can grow some kelp. If we share the seeds, we can all grow kelp. Share the kelp seeds? Gee, boys. The kelp seeds are for everyone. Wait. I got an idea. We can share the kelp seeds. <laughs> Great idea, boys. Yeah. Yay! What, that's all it took? <laughs> Let's go tell the squid father we're all going to share. You're really messing Yay! up this dev's uh, engine the here. You're just messing with the grass tool. Somebody has to come and clean this shit up. Don't let your son on the computer when you're working on the game. Stop. Go. What? <laughs> That's my favorite character. That's my favorite character. On to Freddy Fish 2. Where are all the guppies? We're hiding. The guppies say the school is haunted by a ghost, and that the ghost is stealing their toys. Okay. I saw the ghost, Mrs. Croker. It stupefied me with fear, and then it stole my toy. Boo! Ah. <laughs> hey, that's my toy. Boo! That couldn't have been real. There's no such thing as ghosts. Luther and I will find that so-called ghost and get back all the toys. Good luck, Freddy. Um, I don't want to do all that. Does that technically mean make the earth flat? <laughs> Is that right? Technically right? If the earth was a cube, would it be flat? It, I mean, technically, it was like some of the Earth would be flat, right? Is the, the Earth was a cube? 
<laughs> it's Minecraft. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just saying, if, 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 the, if the Earth was a cube, not a globe, it, has, it would be a flat plane. Cube does not mean flat. But what? It would be three dimensions. It would be three dimensionally flat. Guys, you just I, never know no, I do not. Th okay. Will come in oh, excuse me. We need to get this really cleared up here immediately. I'm just making a thing. I'm making a joke as to it turned it into flat sides. Okay. It was merely a, a jokey reference. Okay. <laughs> you know what I just noticed? How come every horror movie, all the horror movie antagonists, there's always a scene? Every time, in every one of the movies, every scary monster or scary person movie, they always do this. They go, there's a scene where it's them, and the, the main character's looking at them, and they go... They go like... They do the head tilt thing. Why? It's like... It's... I don't... Why do they keep doing that? They do it in every fucking single movie. That is literally only in Halloween. No, it is not. I'm... Look... I don't have to be right right now. I can be right like two months from now when you figure it out. I don't have to be right right now. Imitate the sound effects. I'll try. For the next uh, two minutes. I'll try to imitate the sounds. That's enough. Yeah. A drop of oil might do the trick. Someone just wrote, that's enough. Please play Spy Fox and Pajama Sam. I'm gonna treat these like animes. I'm gonna watch one every year. I'll do one every year. I'm gonna play Madden 09. No, he hates Madden 09. Yeah, I probably do. I probably, yeah. Play Barbie Fashion Show PC 2004. No, we're not just gonna pull up every single old point-and-click kids game from 1995 to 2002. We're not doing that. Uh, this was a direct special request. Because it was somebody's birthday, okay? You wanna know the truth? It was somebody's birthday, this was a birthday present for the person that requested it on their birthday. This is a birthday present. So, there it is. Cat's out of the bag. This was a birthday present. It's my birthday, can you watch porn on stream? Um, no. Sorry. The a pornography critique stream Only would be hilarious. That go along with it. I don't think you understand what happens if that stream is live. I... I go away. <laughs> hey! It's Freddy Fish! And Luther. Well, we got him. We got him! How could you two scare the poor little guppies and steal their toys? It's the two sharks! What the fuck? It's the, the two sharks! Father. The squid father doesn't need the toys as much as the guppies. These gotta hold up. They still do. Here, give they this still to hold the up. squid father. He should have at least one toy. Well, we're giving the toy where... Isn't this Come just on, enabling that Luther, bad behavior? Let's take these toys back to the guppies. Isn't the whole point of this that they were sending the bad guys Look, to go get steal the toy and we just toys. gave the toy to them? At the, end? <laughs> the message is to share. Okay, I, know, I understand the message is to share, but... They're trying to kill us! Selfish! These guys are dressing up in a costume, talking about how they were going to get us and and trying to like come and scare the kids and shit. <laughs> I can't. Somebody said the, the moral of the story is to. <laughs> I can't even fucking read it. The moral of the story is to stomp the bad guys' teeth into their brains. <laughs> no, that's not what I said either. By the way, that's not what I said. The moral of the story is fucking consumerism. Okay, I'm I'm done. Do you want to start the game all over? No. That was fun. That was Freddy Fish Two: The Curse of the Mean 
antagonists that continue to cause a problem. In Freddy Fish 3, they'll be stealing the fucking pie off the sill. See you next time. Legendary boring stream. You almost just got me to hiss into the camera, which would have changed your mind, but no. All right, you guys ready? We're gonna move on. We are gonna play Unpacking. It's a game where I have to, I think, decorate a room. Yeah, there already was a save file. I think I, I, I fell asleep to Holly playing this. It was so relaxing. All right, you ready? So I think, yeah, I get open up boxes. Work faster. That, that's not the point of this, is to do it as slow as you can. You do this as slow as possible. I think I remember watching, like I was, my eye was like this and I remember going like this. <laughs> and seeing like flashes of this. While Holly was like organizing stuff. I was just like. <laughs> I was definitely not dreaming. Now I can hang those up. I don't think I want to do that though. I hate hangers. They just give you two spikes on your shoulders. I hate it. But I'll do it for now. You don't know what I'm talking about? When you, okay. When you put something on a hanger and it sits in there for a long enough time, you end up getting this shit. It looks like this. And there's nothing you can do to get rid of it. It just looks like this. Get a smaller hanger. I'm not, no, I'm not using a meat hook. <laughs> 2007. Oh God. Okay. Oh, goodness. I already have this bunch of shit all here. There's already stuff here. There's some shit here already. Can I throw some stuff away? I would just throw everything away. Well, I mean, I, <laughs> I wouldn't, but like in the game, I mean, I wouldn't just throw everything away. I'm just saying in the context of this video game, I would just get rid of this stuff so I could put new stuff out. You have a roommate? <laughs> that makes it even worse. <laughs> Can you imagine? Coming in, and your roommate has five or six contractor trash bags full of stuff. Hey, what's what's in the bags? Ah, oh, nothing, man. I'm just making a couple trips to the dumpster. Not a big deal. You throw every single thing they own away. Wow, that would be awful. No, I gotta. We gotta. Where's the bedroom? Oh man, this is gonna be so much of a pain in the ass. All right, I'm gonna go fast. I'm, I'm, I don't know, I can't pay attention to this. Guys, every time I've moved, I really sit there and look at all my stuff and go, I just want to smash all this up with a hammer and then throw it in the fucking trash. I swear. Sometimes you just look around and you're just like, fuck it, fuck this. Look at all this. There's like, there's each, there's markers for each different, like, day of the week. This is why I, I try not to own anything. I just, I, I, I want, I want just a, such a small amount of stuff. I want the stuff that makes me, do I need it to survive? Yes. Okay. Toilet paper. You need that. You need a rag, right? You need a, a good rag. You need stuff in the bathroom, a toothbrush. I don't need all these books. I don't need all these things. I don't, I don't, I don't need all this other shit. I just, honestly, I just need a, a pan to cook food in. I just, you need to only need a few pans. Sometimes you go to kitchens and the person's like a master fucking chef. They have 15 different pans. And it's like, I don't, do you ever know the last time you even used that, like, extra large wok? What, if, what, what do you mean? What? What's wrong with all this? You guys understand that this is almost everything I own is in here and in that closet. This is almost every object that I own. This is my whole life is this shelf here. I, all of my possessions are there and right there. I don't, I don't like have anything else. I don't know, I don't like stuff. I don't like a bunch of stuff. Yeah, I don't know, I don't like stuff. Like, for instance, to me, this is stuff. If this is stuff. If this is, I would get rid of it. Let me tell you what would go in this room. You ready? <clears throat> no, it's a book, get rid of it. What am I gonna write down? Alarm clock. Nope, I have a phone. I don't need that. What is this? Some random magazine? Postcard? Put it on the fridge for six months. After six months have elapsed, take it off. Oh, you sent me a picture of, of, of like your kids or something. Or like, oh, I'm something that like a cool thing. It's going on the fridge for six to 12 months and it's coming off. I want to show you guys something because it's very important. This is my mouse pad. You want to see how I don't own anything? I don't care. This is my mouse pad. I've had, I've been using the same mouse pad for fucking almost 10 straight. This is a Magicka Wizard Wars mouse pad. This is what I use. I don't play this game. 
I don't give a shit about this game or this entire franchise. I don't care. Magic of fucking Wizard Wars, guys. I don't need anything else. I don't need another one. Why would I get another one? What do I care? I've owned this since 2011, I think. Buy a new one. I don't need a new one. This one works. This works just fine. It's just this floppy... Oh, look, I'm going to make thunder. I, 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 you don't need... I don't need another one. If it were up to me, I would just do it on my shin. I mean, my thigh. If it worked, I used an Amazon Basics keyboard for five years. That thing was $9 on Amazon. I don't, I don't need stuff. I don't care about stuff. Guys, I have one other mouse pad. <laughs> Give me a second. I need to see if I still have it. You're going to fucking shit your pants laughing if I can get it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Are you ready for me to reveal the other mouse pad that I own? Okay. Here we go. It's a Superman holographic mouse pad. Should I use this instead of the Magic of Wizard Wars one? What do you think? Is this worth any money? Does it make a sound when you scratch it? What the fuck? Hold on a second. <laughs> Rough day today. <laughs> let's be uh, let's be realistic with ourselves here. Everybody that has all these books, they buy them, and they like open them in bed, and they read three pages and they close it and they just pretend like they're reading it. <laughs> <laughs> I knew for a fact that was gonna get somebody. People were just like, I fucking read. What is he saying? Okay, what do we got? I have to make sure everybody knows that I play D&D. It's the first thing that I want them to see so I can have an hour-long conversation with them about D&D. They go, Hey, hey man, what's this thing? Oh, well, <laughs> let me tell you something about Dungeons and Dragons. Look, look at all these. What the fuck are these all for? Why, who has that many of those? This is bullshit. Everybody that owns more than one of these you go, you fan, you see five to ten pages with shit on it. The rest is empty. And it's like that across every single one of them. You don't need all these. The first five pages have stuff on this, and the rest is blank. The sketchbooks? Well, there's a lot. You don't know how to read. You don't know how art works. Is it artist? But, I mean, I... There's a lot of books. And by the way, how dare you be this talented? How dare you be this talented and have that much material? He, here comes a backpedal. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? What the fuck was that? I, there's no, there's nowhere to put. I can't put anything anywhere. A Febreze goes in any room. Okay, I don't understand. This is this is stupid to me because considering. Like, how many times have you fought it in a room, and, holy shit, you hear somebody walking down the hallway, like, I don't know, like your girlfriend, you know, like, you know, a few days ago, and you hear the footsteps, and you just, you just laid out a fucking gross one. And if there was one in the bedroom right there, psh, done. It can, it's for any room. It's literally for any room, there's no room it has to be in. Oh, he fought it. Yeah, that's funny. Where does it want me to put this? Does anybody have any idea where this where it wants me? Where, where, where does it want? Where does it want this to go? <laughs> I am like <laughs> throwing this across. I'm throwing this in the trash from across the room right now. What do I do with this? I don't. What do I do with this towel? It can't go in the baby room. Where is this supposed to go? 
Thanks. I appreciate the I appreciate the help uh, when you say up my butt. I thank you. Thanks. But like a more, I'm looking for a practical answer. Where where is this supposed to go? That was a lot of fun. That's that that's a good place to end it. We're at six uh, six and a half hours about.